Hi everyone. Uh oh. Let's see. I don't know if I know what I'm doing. Oh wow, you guys. This is weird. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. Good morning. It it's been a while. <laughs> Mom, hi! My mom's traveling. Here's Father Connor. Good morning. Okay. I'm a little befuddled because of the change. <laughs> hi, Father Connor. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Yes. Oh, we're just so glad to have you. Your story is amazing. You and your brother. I'm like, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you guys yeah, it was a... Yeah, it was it was a pretty crazy story. Um, it's it's been wild since May thirtieth, since uh, yes. since ordination. Um, a lot of people have been asking, and um, it, it's it's been a crazy to see the Holy Spirit move. And I actually talked to my brother about it. Um, we got asked to do an interview, and so I called him and said, "Hey, is this good? Like, are we doing the right thing? I mean, I hope we're not doing this. I hope it doesn't come off as if we're doing this for us." And he goes, "No, I mean, if we're if we're trying to follow the Holy Spirit, and people want to know." then that's the Holy Spirit using it. So I was like, yeah, okay. That's good older brother advice. Yes. <laughs> so it, it, it works in real time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, amazing. Um, okay, mm -hmm. our intentions for today. Um, today is the feast day of St. Ignatius of Antioch. Mm -hmm. um, and then please pray for my husband who's been sick since February and doctors cannot find a diagnosis. These last seven months have been filled with frustration. I ask for peace and healing. Please pray for prodigal, prodigal children everywhere, for their families who love and miss them terribly. Please pray that Jesus and Mother Mary will hold them in perfect love and care when we cannot. Please pray for their safety and a conversion of their hardened hearts. Remind them of love and light and truth and remind them especially that family is waiting on them always. And then um, last one, for my sister-in-law, Kathy, who is battling ALS for a cure and strength for her and her husband, who is caring for her. Um, and just want to pray for everyone here and all of their intentions. Is there anything, Father, you would like to pray for? Um, yeah, there's a, one of our high school students um, broke his wrist in the football game last night. He's a senior. Um, so I want to pray for him, pray for healing. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. definitely. <laughs> it's always tough. Wow. Yeah. All right. Do you mind leading or would you like me to lead? I can lead. That's fine. Okay, great. Yes. All right. All right. Well, let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. 
The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. <laughs> The second joyful mystery is the visitation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory. Oh, my Jesus. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery is the nativity of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of our Lord in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <laughs> Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O my Jesus. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, that after this our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. That we be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Um, Amen the Father. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Go we ahead. pray this St. Michael prayer as well, just for okay. protection. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our, Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the, of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so um, one thing we always love to, to ask um, any guest who joins is um, about their experience with the rosary or when the mm -hmm. rosary had um, an impact on them. But before... I wanted to share with everyone that Father Connor has a brother, uh, Father Peyton. They were ordained on the same day. It was May of 2020. Just mm -hmm. unbelievable. But <laughs> I don't know if everybody knew that. We were talking and I was like, I don't know. So I wanted to share that. But anyway, <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. my point. So, but if yeah. You... Yeah. Um, I'd say the rosary. Um... <laughs> I don't know. There's always been peace about it. Um, I love reflecting on the mysteries. Um, I love reflecting on just kind of sitting with them, um, putting myself in Gethsemane or putting myself in the temple, to trying to sit with Jesus, you know, whatever it is. Um, but I've found that there's always a sense of peace with the repetition, you know, the repetition of the prayer. And that's part of the, I mean, it's the nature of repetitive prayers, you know, um, but it's always just kind of been peaceful just to say that over and over and over and over and over and over again. Um, and to be able to sit with those mysteries. And um, I, something I've really kind of connected with is intercessory prayer and like praying for people and having intentions and offering mm -hmm. prayers for, for specific people, not just saying, you know, this is, I'm just saying this rosary, you know, or I'm not just saying this mass is like, this is my intention. And I'm intentionally bringing that person forward. Um, and the rosary is a beautiful opportunity to do that. You can do that with every Hail Mary. You can do that with a decade. You can do it with the whole thing. Um, and praying for people and then letting you know that you're praying for them. Um, I've, I have seen that change lives. Um, not necessarily me doing that, but I've seen that change lives. And so being an intercessor is, is incredible. Um, and... Yeah, it's something I really enjoyed about it. <laughs> yes, no, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's something in this in this in the past couple of years, praying with everyone here. Mm -hmm. Typically, like every Hail Mary will be, I'll see an intention and be praying, and it it is. That's 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 a great point. It's incredibly yeah. intercessory. So yeah, absolutely. Um, so do you want to share your vocation story with everyone? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've I've seen a couple of the people come up on you know, the little name ticker or whatnot. And I, uh, I've seen some people that I know and grew up with. So <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Oh, really? um, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. There's a mom in Oklahoma that was actually dating my brother in the, uh, in, in high school. And when I started thinking about the seminary, um, she usually watches. So, um, and some others a lot that I've met along the way. So anyway, I was, um, I was a junior in high school and, I had never thought about priesthood ever a day in my life, never thought about it, never considered it. Um, it would just, you know, I, I, it wasn't like I said, Oh, could I be a priest? No, I don't want to. 
I just never thought about it. Um, right. I, w- I wanted to be um, probably a coach and doctor like my dad. And um, so I'm dating this girl at junior year in high school. And it's good. Everything's good. Um, and I'm on the March for Life um, in Washington, D.C., January every year. And this was two thousand January 24th, 2011. And I... Um, so I was dating this girl and she was on the trip with me. She was sitting about two rows behind me. I was at the Verizon center for the youth rally in mass before the March. And, um, the Bishop at the time who was celebrating mass, you know, at the end of the mass, there's 20,000 people. Um, he had, he asked different groups of people to stand up. And so he said, Oh, my brother bishops, you know, so we all start clapping. And then, um, Oh, like the, uh, priests and deacons, you know, I start clapping, um, the monks, nuns, brothers and sisters, you know, and mm-hmm. then he says, Anybody discerning priesthood, please stand up. And like I said, at this time, I never thought about it. I never considered it. Um, but I was at a point in my life where I was saying, God, what do you want me to do? Like, I, I really don't know. So, mm-hmm. and I know that if I follow you, then that's where peace and joy and that's where heaven is. So um, I'm going to need you to go ahead and tell me, you know. Um, <laughs> so I was just kind of at a point in my life where I was really open. And so then at that moment in the Verizon Center, when the bishop said that, I, I heard in my heart, that's you. That's what you're going to do with your life. And so I, uh, I shot out of my seat um, saying I was discerning the priesthood, um, which I wasn't previously. You know, this was news to me. <laughs> was the, everybody in shock? Yeah, my youth minister kind of did a double take and didn't believe it at first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> which, I, which I didn't find out for about five years after I entered seminary. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, my girlfriend was in shock. Um, she's now married, has a baby boy, so she's uh-huh. doing amazing. And, um, everybody always asks about, they're like, Oh, what did your girlfriend think? I said, well, I didn't know it was coming either. So it was kind of a surprise to us both. Right. Um, but then it's actually funny, my brother and every you know, prayed about it for about a year and a half after that. And, um, discerned that I was called to enter the seminary. And so I did, um, but what's interesting is that my brother Peyton was also on that trip. Um, he was a senior when I was a junior and um, he had a girlfriend as well. And so it was kind of like his girlfriend was sitting next to him. He was next to her. And then my girlfriend was sitting next to him because we were all pretty close. And when, uh, when I um, stood up, his girlfriend kind of grabbed his arm. I was like, Oh, can you believe it? And my brother was like, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but he didn't enter seminary for, I think, uh, I think three more years. Cause he went to LSU for three years. Um, discerned that he was not called to seminary right after high school, prayed about it, wasn't there, prayed about it, wasn't there. And so then quick for him when he was on the March for life, his junior year in college as a chaperone, he, um, he had a moment in prayer where he was like, God, what? <laughs> so God said, it's time to go. So he said, okay. So um, he called me and he said, hey, I think I'm gonna come to the seminary. And this was my sophomore year in seminary. And so when he entered, he had to do two years of philosophy. And that, that coincided with my junior and senior year in seminary college. And so okay. that's, the way, that's the way we ended up together. Um, we're not twins. He's a year and a half older than I am. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so, and then six years in the seminary together, amazing trips our whole time together, amazing experiences, um, went to Poland, went to uh, the Holy Land, went to London, Italy, and Switzerland together. Um, I mean, different trips. Did you trips. both go to St. Yeah. Minor together? We did, yeah. So we went. We spent six years in the seminary together. So wow. um, St. Joseph Seminary College in Louisiana, um, two years together, and then four years at St. Mindred in Southern Indiana together. I'm in so, Indiana. And when I saw that, I was like, Oh wow. How did he end up here? And then, <laughs> yeah. So and then, yeah. Yeah. Right. Archbishop Rohde, our Archbishop in Mobile, when he was Bishop of Biloxi, um, our, our hurricane Katrina hit and um, oh. almost destroyed Notre Dame seminary in New Orleans. And so St. Mindred and destroyed a lot of his diocese in Biloxi. I think he lost, oh man, 16 churches and four schools in about 
12 hours because wow. of the hurricane okay. or something like that or in a, in a day. So he, they were kind of decimated and St. Mindred called and, um, and said, Hey, we will take your guys. We will help you out. We'll do what we will do whatever we can. So there's been a good relationship and St. Mindred is a, is a phenomenal seminary. Um, mm -hmm. I know I may be biased cause I went there, but, um, no, just kinda, yeah, yeah. Just no. kind of know it, knowing the seminary, knowing the guys who run it, knowing the, the mm -hmm. community itself, um, the kind of diocese that's in there, it's a, it's a good place to be. It's a phenomenal seminary. Um, so it's good. That's amazing. Yeah. I didn't know they reached out like, wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. 12 hours. Yeah. Um, so um, someone asked what your, what um, your upbringing was like. And I thought it was pretty mm. normal. It was and very normal. It was incredibly <laughs> normal. Like yeah. it was, we went to Catholic school, Catholic grade school, Catholic high school. So I guess in that way, it may not have been everybody's experience, but a lot of Catholics are, you know, I mean, a good number of Catholics are able to do that. So, uh, but we, like both my parents were doctors. Um, my dad worked. He was no, OB, he's an OBGYN. My mom is a retired pediatrician. Um, she stopped practicing when I think when I was about third or fourth grade, um, mm -hmm. because she was like, well, I want to be able to pick my kids up from school. I want to, you know, be able to drive field trips. I want to be there at home when they come home, you know, to, to be a mom, you know, like I want to, um, I don't just want to be a second source of income. You know, I want right. to. I want to be there, you know, and so she was, um, and, but we never, we, I, I wouldn't say we were a very religious family. Like we never, mm -hmm. we never prayed the rosary together. We never prayed before we went to bed. I don't think, uh, if we did, then I can't remember. Um, <laughs> we never like went to the Easter triduum, um, or the Paschal triduum, um, growing up, we never went to midnight mass, you know, we didn't do. Mm -hmm. we weren't a daily mass family, you know, um, we never talked about vocation. We never said the word vocation at all. Um, and it's not like they, they were anything against it at all. They just, they never did either. And so we were just kind of, you know, just going along. Um, they grew up in Southern Louisiana where, um, Southern Louisiana is a, is a hotbed of Catholicism. There's a ton of Catholics in Southern Louisiana. Um, really? A, a Southern Louisiana is about, I don't know the percent, but when you go down there, it feels like 90%. <laughs> it feels like, it feels like that. Um, I always thought that yeah. about, yeah. Oh, I never yeah. knew that. Yeah. It's all that, it's all those Cajuns and all those French and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, okay. but, um, yeah, so we, um, they grew up, they grew up Catholic and then, you know, um, started practicing a lot and, um, when we moved to Mobile, when I was 10 days old, um, they were like, well, let's join a parish and let's do it. So the, we did. And we started going to church because um, in residency and medical school for them, life is so crazy. And yes. especially in the, in the nineties, late eighties and early nineties, I mean, the rules that we have now in residency are, are not the, are not the same they had back then. So no, um, they cap them out in hours and I work at a medical it, school. So, right. Okay. Yeah. You know, exactly. Yeah. Yes. It's exactly. much better now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'd say kind of quick, um, when I was in eighth grade, my dad was asked to teach CCD at the parish, um, which he had never taught before. I mean, my brother was, Peyton was a freshman in high school. My little sister was in sixth grade. Little brother was in fourth grade. Um, and I think it was a big honor for him. But he said, well, if I'm going to teach this, I better know it. And so he started getting really deep into reading, really deep into the faith, really deep into prayer. Um, <clears throat> just because he's like, I better be able to be a good teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and so he did. And at that time, so he got spurred on in his faith. But at the same time, Peyton was a freshman in high school, so he was getting involved in campus ministry. Um, Dan Johnson, who now runs uh, 4 p.m. Media, was the um, campus minister. Um, he is a saint. And so we, so Peyton started getting deeper, and then I went into high school the next year, and then I started getting into the same thing. And then our whole family just got deeper and deeper and deeper mm -hmm. um, to the point we were talking about theology at the table, you know, um, and talking about our faith at the table and whatnot. And, um, but I think the two things that we did as a family, like you could call it from like from table to table, because we had a family meal, all six of us together, probably 340, 350 days a year. That's um, fantastic. 
yeah, it was, it was a huge deal for my parents. Uh, my mom mm-hmm. was like, look, we're going to have a meal together. We're going to have dinner together. We're mm-hmm. going to do this every day. Even if we have to do it at four o'clock or have to do it at nine o'clock, we're going to do it. And so we did. And it was good for us because the mom, the, I mean, the cooking's amazing. So we were like, heck yeah, we're going to eat together. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, both, both my parents are great cooks. And so that was, that definitely was not a suffering at the table thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think what that did was that made us talk to each other. That mm-hmm. made us, because everybody had to go around and say, how was your day? What happened? What'd you do today? You know, right. you had to, you had to answer the questions. You couldn't just say, no, eh, that's good, whatever, whatever. Say, no, 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 we're going to talk, you know, we're, we're going to figure this out. And so whenever there was something going on, we were all in it and everybody was there together, um, which all of us are extremely close now, you know, and yes. a lot of the time we'll like, whenever we're texting each other as a siblings or a family, whatever, we're all these kind of um, mentioning back at the table growing up, you know, so it's, and then the second thing we did was uh, we went to Sunday mass together every single Sunday. Mm-hmm. I remember, I remember, I remember missing one, but that's all I can remember. Um, yeah, that's all I can remember. Um, but we're you, just all went one. To, you all went together. Yeah. And then in high school, we were able to go to like the, the evening mass or something like that, you know, when mm-hmm. mom and dad didn't want to or something, or something like that, you know, but it, everyone went every Sunday. Um, and it was like, you, did, you were not allowed to miss. So even when I was driving, and I was like, oh, like, I'm, I'm going to go there. They're like, no, nope. mm, when are you going to mass? Are you going to make it back in time? Are you going to go before you leave? What are you doing? Right. You know, and if I were to say, I never did, but if I were to say, oh, I don't, I'm not going to go this weekend, they were like, it's not an option. Yeah. You can't do that. So we went from the dinner table to the table at mass, you know, mm-hmm. um, every, every day. Well, every day for meal and every Sunday for mass together. And that was huge. Um, the faith wasn't. They didn't force it on us, but they were like, this is good. Mm-hmm. This is, this is what we do. And right. we do this because it's God. And here we are. It's like, okay. And then they, they formed us in natural virtue. I think a lot, um, you know, reputation, work ethic, consequences, mm-hmm. all these kind of life lessons. And I mean, grace builds on nature. Right. And so right. we were in a good phenomenal school system, phenomenal campus minister and youth minister, good priest around and um and so it's kind of the holy spirit was able to work and my parents got out of the way of the holy spirit uh, my parents were interviewed as well um and that's what their theme that's what their theme is is like we just got out of the way of the holy spirit um so it's kind of like you you do the best you can with your kids you raise them the best you can and then you throw them at the holy spirit and throw the holy spirit at them and uh keep doing the best you can, you know? Um, I think one of the biggest blessings is that they did not force us to do anything. Okay. I mean, they forced us to be active and like, Uh like, okay, you're going to play a sport this semester or you're going to be involved in something this semester. You can't just sit at home every day. You're going to be doing something. Right. But I don't, I I mean, like they didn't force us to go to college. They didn't force us to become a doctor. They didn't force us to Mm -hmm. like, you know, not at all. Um, they didn't force us to go to certain schools because of social status. You know, they didn't force us to wear certain things for social status. They didn't, I mean, no, they were focused on forming good people. And I, I look at my three siblings and I'm like, yeah, I think they did. (laughs) You know, um, do you have a younger sibling? I think Yeah, I, I have two younger siblings, right? I have a younger sister in med school right now. She's, the highlight of the family. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> um, and uh, a little brother who is in, incredible. Um, he's living in Belgium now at Leuven, um, studying for a master's and or a PhD in philosophy. Um, he, did, he just graduated college, Loyola in New Orleans, and now he's in Leuven. So I'll see him at Christmas. <laughs> oh, how fantastic. Yeah, yeah. He was able to go. Yeah. He got a student visa and that's one of the exceptions. So if he's a student. So I, I had, uh, I was actually quarantined with COVID when he was leaving. And so he stopped by um, and I was like, I really just want to give you a hug because I won't see you till Christmas. But he's like, yeah, but if I get sick, I can't, right. like, I can't risk that, you know, going over there. That I may jeopardize the whole year. So I was like, it's okay. So he's kind of like air five goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'll, I'll see you Christmas. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a yeah. What a, an amazing Christmas you guys will. will I know. It'll be good. Enjoy. It'll be good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. someone commented <laughs> that was hilarious. So we need to send all our sons to March for life. 
<laughs> hey, I've seen several vocations come out of that trip, not just me mm-hmm. and my brother, but I've seen several and not just vocations, priestly vocations, but people's lives change to where they're in high school and they're still practicing the faith. They are dynamic about the faith now because of that trip, because of an experience with that trip, because of either standing up for life or it's the bus trip, the 17 hours in a bus from Mobile. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's ministry is 17 hours on a bus together. That's ministry or walking around the Capitol, looking at monuments that we may spend five minutes at, but we're just spending time together. That ministry yes. is relationship, you know? And so I've seen a ton a of, of lives, a ton of lives changed because a of that of, trip. Exactly. And a, a lot of conversions seem to happen on buses. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> buses. So I, I don't know what it is, but I guess we just need to live on buses now. <laughs> we have a sister, Melin, um, she uh, joins us sometimes and, um, she somehow, um, anyways, this was, was it in Singapore? Anyway, she ended up on a bus with um, a bunch of nuns. And all they did was pray the rosary, and she was Buddhist. Yeah, and- well, that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> oh, I just love her. Anyways, yeah. so it, this is amazing. So you, do you feel, okay, so my daughter's in high school, and I'd like for her to go to the March for Life. Mm. Um, but my oldest daughter, I was afraid after some event occurred and I was like, do you feel it's safe to save, to send them now? Um, Because of COVID or what? Oh no, I was afraid um, just of some, some of the interactions I saw. Yeah. 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 So I'd say that's about 1% of the March for Life. Um, And well, I mean, they're there when you get to right in front of the courthouse, they're all there. And, but we were, we were taught, we were formed, like they'll be there. Don't mm-hmm. engage. Just keep praying and keep moving. That's okay. okay. Um, I was never attacked. I was never, I mean, people were fussing at us, but like nothing at me, like, Hey, you punk, mm-hmm. whatever, nothing like that. Um, I know it's, they've been, there's been some examples of escalation in the, in the last several years. Um, but that's, that's not the whole thing. You know, okay. that's not the whole thing at all. Um, so I, I'd say go, I mean, Okay. Again, I may be biased because my life has changed twice there, you know, but <laughs> No, I've um, heard amazing things, so Yeah. I think it's worth it and I don't know, I may be reckless or I don't know what it is when I say this, but like it's like I always thought that well, if I'm gonna get hurt doing that, might as well be hurt doing that, you know. Yeah, so right. um we'll be all right. All <laughs> Holy right. Spirit we'll Holy Spirit will there. take care of us. Holy Spirit yeah. will take care of us. Yes. We'll so, be well, I hope so. I hope they have. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. This has been so amazing. Thank you yeah. so much for joining well, us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, mm-hmm. We'll continue to pray. Oh, can we have a blessing? We yes, absolutely. Blessing. Absolutely. Yeah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs> thank you again. Yeah, thank you. Thank us. you. It was great. It was a good morning. Yeah. It's awesome. We'll continue prayers. All right. Take care. (laughs) All right. Thanks. Bye, everyone.